Well, hello, 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 everyone out here in Tarot Land. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. How are you guys? How's this day been for you? I hope it's been good. Y'all out there looking good? Y'all out there feeling good? Y'all out there acting right? Y'all got your pockets tight? Because, you know, that's the only way we like to rock it over here. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know me. You're Zen Libra and I'm your neighborhood Nark Slayer. And you are too. I've um, recruited a lot of new Nark Slayers. And I'm so glad, ladies, that you are a part of my team. Because we're not dealing with this narcissism no more. You know what I'm saying? We're not dealing with it. And you know what we're doing, ladies? We're walking away. We're loving ourselves and walking away. And we're elevating. You know what I'm saying? The focus we used to put on these terrible relationships, we're putting it on ourselves. And we're elevating. Okay? And we're taking these narcissists down one by one. You know what I'm saying? Because um, we're not dealing with it no more. You know what I'm saying? So keep away from our presence. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to deal with y'all. You know? Well, you guys, you know, if you follow me, did I check in with my soul family? Um, I let each one of my soul family members speak and tell us what's going on out here in the ethers. And it's the end of the month. The month of June has come and gone. So it's time for the father to say what he sees going on out here in the ethers. Okay? The universe, which is the masculine energy. Okay? What is going on out here in the ethers? So, of course, you know this is the goddess channel. I pull from the feminine energy and I speak from the woman's aspect. And a feminine energy that I got to help me uh, bring in this message from my universe is the first one that I pulled from my power three is Ane. Ane is here giving us the energy of inner strength. You've been in conflict with some masculine. He's been giving you the blues. You know what I'm saying? He's been just giving you all the business, been fighting with you, battling with you. And it hasn't been on the physical. It's been on the spiritual. You know what I'm saying? We got some people um, that's doing a lot of magic, a lot of spell work on you. A lot. You know what I'm saying? This particular person was in his ego. He was in his ego and he wanted to control you. But he didn't know that he was dealing with somebody with powerful inner strength. You know? See, that's what we get, ladies, when we love ourselves. And this is a feminine that loves the hell out of herself. She, and she loves herself so much she has become the empress. She is the divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? So when you love yourself and you nurture that goddess within, that goddess within, within she nurtures you. And she gives you confidence, resilience, courage. You know what I'm saying? You know your self-worth. And you won't be victimized by these narcissists. And you have the ability to fight back. You know what I'm saying? That inner strength, that's that powerful spiritual soul strength that you had inside of you that you have inside of you. And that's from nurturing that goddess inside of you. That's right. You, you make her strong, she makes you strong. You know what I'm saying? That's your inner self, okay? And you coming into some money this summer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ane has to do with a lot of uh, wealth um, coming in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? Summer madness. That's Ane. So get this money, girl. You know what I'm saying? See, when you be strong, the universe gives you tokens, you know what I'm saying? But you get lessons with those tokens. Remember that. You know, you gotta you gotta go through to grow through. And that's what this feminine did. You know, we all doing it, divine feminists. We elevating, you know what I'm saying? This is Ane giving us the energy of inner strength. That's what I'm telling you, ladies. You ain't got to fight these people with violence. You ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, no, no blood gotta be spilled on the streets. You just, you know what I'm saying, love yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you can rise above and elevate above all this bull. You know what I'm saying? And my second from the power of three that I pulled is my girl, Oshun. Oshun is giving us the energy of forgiveness. Yeah, this uh, particular masculine that has been attacking you spiritually, he's over there crying. And he wants to give you an apology. He wants to give you an apology for trying to take your life trying to take your life. He has got involved into some type of group or I don't know, this was some type of, of initiation and he was just going to hand you up, baby. 
Yes, he was. He's going to hand you over so he can make it, so he can uh, go further in the group, so he can get higher. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your life had a price tag on it, sweetheart. Yes, ma'am. And now he's over there crying because he didn't know that you were strong as you was. He didn't know who he was fucking with. He didn't know that you were chosen. He didn't know the ability and the strength that you had inside of you. See, he didn't see that warrior side of you. He just saw that nice, nurturing, compassionate sign, side. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we get down and dirty. You know what I'm saying? We Come on, man. We got Archangel Michael. He gets down and dirty. But, you know, he's an angel, too. You know what I'm saying? See, ladies, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like Tupac said, you can't be uh, an angel when you're around a bunch of demons. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a demon, too. You know what I'm saying? And you, When you're out here fighting the devil, sometimes you got to stick him with his own pitchfork, okay? And that's what she did, stuck his ass. You know what I'm saying? And he want to be forgiven for trying to take her life. You know what I'm saying? And now he sees it was a waste of time because he didn't get no money for it. And now he going through karma. You're reaping what you sow, bitch. That's exactly what you get. You know what I'm saying? This is Oshun giving us the energy of forgiveness. No, we ain't forgiving out here. You know what I'm saying? We're not forgiving out here. All right? And a third one from the power of three that I pulled is my girl, Demeter. Demeter is here giving us the energy of harvest. Yeah. This person was trying to make you sick. You know what I'm saying? So that they could put you under. So he could put you in the dirt. And it's all because of your origin, your DNA, your vitality, your energy. You will come from a royal bloodline. You know what I'm saying? You come from the bloodline of oracles, of earth, earth angels, of seers, or clairvoyant women. You know what I'm saying? And he was going to offer you up to get initiated in this club. Bitch ass dude. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, um... It didn't happen because you here and it's your harvest time. I told you, this summer, you gonna see, you gonna see the rewards of those souls, those uh seeds you sowed. You pick your basket, baby, because it's here. It's here for you, okay? You survived it and it's here for you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. This is Demeter giving us the energy of harvest. Yeah, honey. He was trying to make you sick. You know what I'm saying? Give you some type of illness. You know what I'm saying? Um, with this spell work. You know what I'm saying? Um, to bury you. To put you under. To put you six feet under. Because of your energy. Because of your vitality. Because of where you come from. Your origin. Your DNA. You chosen. And he was going to offer you up. And that's what a lot of these people in these secret societies do. So be careful. Um, you think you... Um, you, 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 you happy that you met Chris Brown or somebody. I'm just throwing his name out there. You know what I'm saying? You happy you met Usher and they calling you and want you to come to the studio and work with them. Don't get close to these celebrities. You don't know these people. And they got agendas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them keep bodies around them because they know they're going to have to keep feeding the beast. You know what I'm saying? And they need bodies for sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this person was going to do to you. So don't be all happy y'all know these celebrities. Because these celebrities, they get to know you for some reason. You know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, they see it doing a memorial to your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because you done been sacrificed. And these, and these people done got another um, tour. Or they done got another uh, movie gig or something like that. They put a price tag on your life so they can move up in life. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that something? Ain't that something? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the energy of this particular uh, reading is... The heart guardian. The card says love and let yourself be loved. This person was doing spell work on you, okay, so that you can be weak to him. He was doing come hither spells, love spells, so you can be weak to him. So he can come over there and hit the skins, get you sick with the STD that he's carrying. You know what I'm saying? It's an incurable STD, mind you, that you would have lost your life. That would have been a sacrifice, and he would have moved up in rank, in degrees. You figure, deal me? You know what I'm saying? So he's like, let yourself be loved. Girl, look, this person here is a predator. 
you see things from a higher perspective now. You see this person for who they are because the divine opened your damn eye. You know what I'm saying? This person is currently spying on you to see how he can catch you slipping. This is a predator and he's watching you. Yes, he is. You know what I'm saying? And got the nerve to want forgiveness. Boy, please. Boy, please. You know what I'm saying? Well, these people, something else ain't. These narcissists, something else ain't they? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we go through so much. We go through so, so, so much. You know what I'm saying? Um, this particular person that um, this masculine is preying on, this is a particular seer. This is a seer. This is a psychic reader, tarot reader, intuitive reader. This is a seer, okay? This is a seer. And she's not attracted to this masculine anymore. She doesn't have any feelings for him. She has no con attraction to him at all. And you know, this is somebody that she loved unconditionally. But she found out this bastard was trying to offer her up. He put a price tag on her life. Feelings instantly went away. Total emotional loss for him. And I see. You know what I'm saying? You, how you gonna love your killer? You know what I'm saying? I fall out of love easily too. Fall out of love in two minutes flat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, praying on you. Praying on your, your kindness, your generosity, your nurturing, your loving side. He's using your strength, which is love, against you. He thought he was going to love bomb you and get in and give you this sickness his disgusting ass has. You know what I'm saying? And he was going to make it because he's going to put you six feet under, boo. All because you chose him. Know you from God. You, you, you're a light worker. And he, that's why he wanted to send you up. That's why he wanted to put you up. But he didn't know that you were as strong as you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is somebody that you were supposed to grow old with. Mm-hmm. This is somebody you had unconditional love with. This particular person is your soulmate. This is what your soulmate did to you. He said, forget your contract, what you had in the ethers with the divine. And he chose to turn his face against the divine and take an oath with the devil. That's what he did. That's what he did. But he wasted his time. It didn't work. Okay. This person is physically abusive. Abusive. He likes to hit women. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's a predator. You know what I'm saying? And... And I'm glad that you got away from him in the past because you didn't experience all this abuse. You know what I'm saying? This is something he developed over time or this is something that you just didn't experience with him because you knew something just wasn't right. So you kept your distance from him. And I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. All right, let's see what the universe is talking about out here. I don't like your kids. <laughs> I lost my job. Falsified documents. The universe saying it, ain't it? Dysfunctional is functional. I have a fatal attraction. This dude is crazy. Yeah, he crazy as hell, y'all. He crazy. I think you are selfish. I don't want children. I stole some money from you. And has illegally put cameras in your home. Mm, mm, mm. I hope he took a picture of what I fought. I hope I fought it on the damn camera. And he probably could sell that anyway on the black web. They like to see people fought. I mean, just crazy. Sodom and Gomorrah is here. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what's up with this physically abusive bastard that tried to offer you up as an offering so he could move up in this secret society. He thought he was going to put a love spell on you, honey. He gonna, thought he was going to come over there and hit the skins and give you this little nasty disease he had that was going to take your life. And he was going to get him some more degrees. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, stank-ass bastard. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm-hmm. And you rejected his ass. That was my reject card. It just popped out. Yeah, let's put one on I don't like your kids. Let's put one on I don't like your kids. Let's clarify I don't like your kids, spirit. Let's clarify I don't like your kids. <laughs> You don't like your kids, honey. This could be a, a, a Sagittarius that doesn't like your kids. He wants to heal things with you, um, but he don't like your kids. If a man don't like your kids, honey, you don't like him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bump that, you know? And um, a lot of women, they um, when they start dating a man, they keep the man from their children until they feel that they're going in a serious direction with this person and um, they don't like to introduce them to the kids till they know that it's getting serious. I totally agree with that. You know what I'm saying? When you're dating someone, I think that they should meet your children. You know what I'm saying? Because if they don't mesh with your kids, you ain't sent, you ain't spent no three months dating this person and have developing feelings for this person. You know what I'm saying? And um, you bring him home and he don't like your kids. I mean, then you're going to be torn because you don't develop feeling for him now. But then you can't put the man before your kids. So you're going to be torn in the situation. But if you bring this person around and you see right straight off top that he don't like your kids or you and your kids, him and your kids don't get along, that they don't mix, mix well together, then you know you got to let them go. So I disagree with waiting uh, until y'all go getting serious. You know what I'm saying? Until meet the kids. No, the kids are a part of you. You know what I'm saying? So you can't get serious with a person to tell you he knows all parts of you and your kids are a part of you. You know what I'm saying? So he needs to meet the children. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person, um, he wants to heal things with you. You know what I'm saying? But this person is in, um, um, because he's in financial trouble. Yeah, he's going through financial uh, difficulty over there. You know what I'm saying? He wants to heal things with you. You know what I'm saying? But he don't like your kids. So get the hell on. Don't nobody like you. You ain't getting no rank over my damn kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, women, there's a lot of women that do. They so desperate for a man that they do put men before their children. But that's wrong as hell. You know what I'm saying? We divine feminists, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And if you just done dating this man and he don't mix with your kids, that's a red flag. Get the rid of his ass. You know what I'm saying? Get him on. Now this bastard over there, he in financial trouble. Because of his uh, baby mama he got going on, on over there. Boy, please. You know what I'm saying? Let's put one on I lost my job. Let's put one on I lost my job. Mm -hmm. Got a predator. And you out here looking good, and looking pretty. You know, got your body and stuff together. Successful. And he up here. Can you, would you forgive me? Man, please. You try to take my life, dog. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing happening for you, Captain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't nothing happening for you, Captain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This person lost his job. So he may come around acting like uh, not, he's trying to hide. You know what I'm saying? Uh, conceal that he lost his job. You know what I'm saying? And he's going through financial difficulty, but he's never going to tell you that. He's never going to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that uh, because he always, he don't want you to see him sweat. You know what I'm saying? Um, so uh, him, he dealing with his baby mama over here. Ooh, his baby mama something else. She's something else. She's a bitch, a bitch, bitch. And he's not happy at all. He's not happy at all. He ended it with her, though. You know what I'm saying? But they over there fighting because she didn't want him want it to end. She didn't want it to end, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he walked away from her anyway, you know what I'm saying? So he done walked away from his, I don't know if they were in a relationship or a committed relationship, marriage or something, but they got kids or children together, whatever, and he lost his job. So he done lost his job. He got an STD that's incurable, you know what I'm saying? His baby mama is a lousy, no good bitch, you know what I'm saying? She sleeps around. She's a tramp. She don't take care of herself. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot going on over there. But then he got a nerve to not like your kids. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. 
All right, let's get some falsified. What is what's on falsified documents here? What is on falsified documents here? This person did too much, and he's going through karma right now. I told you he's going through karma. He wasted his time for trying to take your life, for trying to sacrifice you to some secret society so he can get some more degrees, so he can move up in rank. Yeah. What's up with this falsified documents? Mm, this person is a predator. You know, and you couldn't believe it because you and this person, you had unconditional love for this person. And this person is your soulmate. You know he is your soulmate. And you like, Divine, we had a contract. He's not supposed to come here and try to kill me. What's up with that? And that's because he took the wrong path. He stopped believing in the Divine and got down here in the physical and took straight to Lucifer. You know what I'm saying? And he thinks that Lucifer is more powerful than the Divine. But now he sees it's not. That he, he she's not. We're going to talk about that. Lucifer is. <laughs> well, that's for another time and another day, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get one on this falsified documents. Let's get one on this falsified documents. Yeah, this person fal falsified some documents. Um, this person could have said you were a whore. That you was promiscuous and that you slept around. You know what I'm saying? Or um, his um, baby mama, which is a whore. I told you that she's a whore. She probably falsified some documents. And um, somebody is aware. I think the, uh, the, the, uh, the law is aware of what this person do, did. Whomever falsified these documents, um, they could have said that you were a whore, a prostitute, or his uh, whore, whorish uh, baby mama wife or whatever. She falsified these documents. And the police, the law enforcement is aware. So they're coming your way. They're coming your way and let you know this information um, of what was done behind your back. You know what I'm saying? Um, and these people are not going to be attacking you anymore. Yeah, these people are not going to be attacking you anymore. You know what I'm saying? He's, uh, he's not going to be able to manipulate you or anything. You know what I'm saying? It's over for these people because law enforcement knows what they've been doing. And they come in and tell you. You know what I'm saying? So look uh, pretty soon. I don't know if they're going to come to your home or they're going to call you or contact you by mail. But uh, you're going to get some information about these falsified documents. Okay? You're going to get some information. So him and his bitch over here falsifying documents, you know what I'm saying? He all in your life, you know what I'm saying? I tell you, boy, ooh, we go through it, don't we, Divine Feminine? Ooh, I think you're selfish. Let's put one on, I think you're selfish. They done falsified some documents for something, I don't know. They falsified your signature. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yes, they did, honey. Mm-hmm, sad, 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 sad. Yeah, this person thinks, I think you're selfish. Yeah, this person is selfish. Um, but they think that you're selfish. Um, they trying to use that selfish. You just being selfish. You ain't thinking about me. What about my feelings? I think this relationship should work. You don't give a damn what he's talking about. He didn't think this relationship or this connection would be, any, would be workable when he was trying to sacrifice you, trying to end your life. And offer up your energy to this fallen angel that they worship. But he think you being selfish not because you don't want to give him no, none of your time. You know what I'm saying? And he wanted y'all to be in a relationship, but you ended it. It's the end of this. You know what I'm saying? This person tried to stab you in your back. Mm-hmm. Try to stab you in your back. But, you know, I mean, try to put you out of here. Try to take your life. Try to unalive you. You know? But the party is over for this person, these people, this couple. These, these two people tried to do this to you. And the party is over for these people. These people are the prostitutes and the, and the pimps and the whores. And they're promiscuous. And they had, both have this STD over there. You know what I'm saying? These are people that would do anything for money. Their friends are even walking away from them now because the police or law, some type of law enforcement, they know what these people have been doing to this divine feminine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She got a fatal attraction. 
she got a fatal attraction. Um, and he's like, I think you selfish. Trying to play on her emotions. Get your ass out of here. Trying to deceive her. Man, get out of here. This is the divine feminine. Your tactics you do don't work on her like it work on them bobblehead bitches that you mess with. So stay in your lane. Stay on your level. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got no business up here, partner. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to tell these dudes where to pick it up and where to put it off at. Because, hey, man, I'm telling you, what they eat don't make me shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'll tell them. You know what I'm saying? You got to balance that light side and that dark side. You can't be nice all the time. Tupac said it. You can't be no angel around all these devils. You know what I'm saying? You got to adapt. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Learn the culture. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? And the culture is kill or be killed. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you know? And it's all about survival out here. Because he trying to take your life, girl. You know? Because you chosen, you have these gifts that you're clairvoyant. and You know what I'm saying? He trying to take your life for that. He trying to cash in on your gifts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have a you have a fatal attraction. This dude is crazy. This dude is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he going to jail. I told you law enforcement knows what he's been doing. He's going to jail. You know what I'm saying? He's going to jail. And when this person go to jail, sweetheart, that's gonna end your suffering. You know what I'm saying? And that's a shame that this person gotta be locked up in order for her to end her suffering. You know what I'm saying? This person got caught. This person got caught trying to steal some money from this divine feminine. And this person is sick. You know what I'm saying? And trying to get her sick. Yeah, judgment has been caught on his ass. He going to jail. He's going to jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got legal problems. Yeah, for trying to take this divine feminine's life. This person is dysfunctional. And he done made the dysfunction functional. He functioned in dysfunctional. He functions in dysfunction. Yeah, this person is screwy, man. This person is screwy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This person is straight up toxic. This person functions in the dysfunction. He's toxic. He's binded to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's toxic. He's toxic. You know what I'm saying? He's just toxic. And he's been sending um, spell work your way, sending all type sex, sexual energy your way so that you, you can be a lover of his. He wants you to be a lover so he can give you this disease. Yeah. So he can end your life. Pitiful, man. Let's put one on I don't want children. But went on, I don't want children. Hmm. Yeah. This person is mentally disturbed. This is a tyrant. You know what I'm saying? This person don't even want you to be around your own children. He feels that if he get with you, he don't want your children around. He feels that they are a burden. Wow. Don't you just love him? Let's keep him, y'all. Let's keep him. We just love him, you know. Boy, this world is so much better with him in it, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? What a what a what a what a treasure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this person is a tyrant, and this is why you don't want to be in no uh, commitment with him. <laughs> and he, 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 he just don't know that you a tyrant too. And then when it comes to your children, you could be a total bitch, just like him. You could be upside down, just like him. You better ask somebody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you better ask somebody. Let's put one on I stole money from you. Manip mentally manipulating you to get rid of your children. And women do that. They be sitting their kids over their sister's house and stuff while he over there all the time. Y'all bitches is crazy. Y'all bitches is crazy. Let's put one on I stole money from you. Never put no kids before my, I mean no man before my kids. 
And ain't no real nigga gonna have you doing that. I mean, stole money from you. He stole money from you. He physically abusive. He ain't got no job. He dysfunctional. He going to jail for trying to attack you. <laughs> he trying to say, you, I think you selfish. So you can be like, no, I ain't what you need for me to help you. Boy, fuck you. Get your ass out of here. Play the mind games on these bobblehead bitches. You, you, you insulting my intelligence. Get your little ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? You damn thief. With your leaking ass. You know what I'm saying? This person stole money from you. This person was weak. A moment of weakness, he stole money from you. He didn't want you to have no money. Because if, he, he, if you had some money, he wouldn't be able to, to control you. So he done stole money from you. A bastard, girl. It's a weak ass bastard. That's what he is. That's exactly what he is. Mm -hmm. This person is very immature and his only focus is on money. It's all he thinks about. So he's sitting behind the scene conjuring up stuff. Steady sending uh, spell work your way. Mm -hmm. But he's just stupid as hell because this is the end of this. This cycle with him has ended and he's still trying to, you know what I'm saying? Just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Psycho has ended, honey. This divine feminine has gone about her business. And this bastard done put illegally put cameras in your home. I sue his ass. I sue his ass up and down. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. This is a fatal attraction. And he needs to go to jail. He needs to go to, to jail. Go to jail, bitch. Go to jail, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're going to fight his ass, too. Take his ass to court. To fight his ass, you know what I'm saying? And he put cameras in your home because you blocked him on from your social media. You blocked him from your phone. You didn't want nothing to do with him. So this bastard gonna have, I don't know if he's working with your landlord or whatever, but this bastard, some kind of way, he put some cameras in your home because he, you wouldn't talk to him, wouldn't see him or nothing. So he uh, intruded on your privacy. This is a sick fuck right here. And you aware of this, you know what I'm saying? You aware of his... Broke ass. You, that's why you don't want no commitment with him. He broke. You don't want to be in no commitment with him. This is somebody that worships. He's a Satanist. Because I told you, he picked the divine. He picked the Satan over the, the divine. He picked the devil over the divine. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that thinks he's entitled to your money or what you're going to inherit. Because this is supposed to be your soulmate. Y'all supposed to be getting this together. But he chose the dark side. Okay? So he thinks he's entitled. With his dishonorable ass. You know what I'm saying? He think he's entitled to have some of this money because of the contract y'all signed. But you and you 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 weren't worried about it when you were trying to take her life. So you have been removed and fucking replaced. So take your dingy looking ass on somewhere. Control freak. Trying to do spell work on you so he can control you. But it's the end of this cycle, you ugly bastard. You know what I'm saying? You through with all this. You ain't finna have no more drama, baby. You ain't finna have no more drama, and you finna be feeling good, walking fine out there in the sun, doing your thing, loving it, you know what I'm saying? Feeling a, a breath of fresh air, relief, you know what I'm saying? Because everything this bastard did, him and this ugly, stinky, coochie bitch, um, it was an epic fail. You know what I'm saying? And you see this person for everything that he is. You know what I'm saying? You see him clearly. You know he's a manipulative, deceptive, lying, cheating bastard, and that's why you lost all emotion for his ass. And you know he was trying to sabotage you. You know it. The truth done came out. You know what I'm saying? So get your ass on. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass on somewhere. This person is bad news. You know what I'm saying? And he got a disease. He's very immature. This is a water sign. This is a cancer. Somebody that don't, don't know how to uh, uh, express himself emotionally. You know what I'm saying? He been trying to message you and everything, but you blocked his ass. So you ain't even trying to get none of his... Um, communication or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's over for this bitch. It's over for this bitch and his pill popping ass friends and you getting the wheel of fortune. Everything is going your way, baby. That's because you're the empress. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get all your wishes fulfilled. You're going to be emotionally fulfilled. Your money and stuff going to be right. You know what I'm saying? And you keeping your block up. You know what I'm saying? You using your intuition and discernment because yours is on one point because you are chosen. You know what I'm saying? I told you that this is a reader. This is a seer here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a seer here. And this little raggedy bastard here. You know what I'm saying? Psh. But you're aware what he was doing. 
You know what I'm saying? This is some things that we go through. This is a part of us growing. You know, unfortunately, divine feminists, we attract the darkness. Although we're full of light, we attract the darkness, you know, but what happens when you turn on the light? Bugs and mosquitoes, they all come toward the light. You know what I'm saying? It's something about the light. Although the light will kill them, it's something about the light. They just got to be in the light, you know? So, you know, this was a training for you, development for you. And But you came through it. You came through it. And that's why you haven't harvested this summer. Okay? This summer, hey, the summer is here, boo. This is yours. I, hey, I'm saying in a number of days. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it now already... Hey, I'm saying in just a few days, baby, it's, it's here for you. You know what I'm saying? This person could not control you. And they're going to jail for this money that he stole from you. These documents that he falsified. Him and this stanky, coochie-ass bitch that he messed with. This whore. This whore of Babylon. This Jezebel that he deals with. Okay? That done gave him this disease that he was trying to end your life with. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's get some positivity out here. You know, the universe is speaking, ain't she? Ain't he? He's speaking. But that's my father. He's going to gonna give you the deal, real deal feel. And don't care how you feel about it. This person is a predator. And now you hurt because you're seeing him for what he really is. And you really love this person. This is your soulmate. But uh, not no more. Not no more. Okay? This is a demon. This is somebody that sold they soul for riches. <laughs> yep. This is a demon. Yeah. Yeah. You don't worry about it, baby. If you're not making mistakes, then you're not doing anything. I know you regret the day you ever met this person. But you got to make mistakes. Like I said, you got to go through to grow through. Okay? And you grown from this. You done skilled up your war tactics and everything. So you ready for that next level. And the divine finna give it to you. That's why you getting this harvest this summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm I cannot be a has-been. I am a will-be. That's damn right. There you go, baby. There you go. You, you wither the storm, and now you're going through impermanence, baby. Now you're going through your impermanence. All right? I want y'all to see that. Yeah, you ain't no has-been. You a will-be. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. You know? This is an uncomfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortable um, experience from you. But you learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's blessings in your stressing. You know what I'm saying? It's blessings in your stressing. You know what I'm saying? And it's good to do uncomfortable things. It's weight training for life. That's what I said. This was training for you. This was training for you. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything. Because when you make mistakes, you grow. Because you know not to do them anymore. And you know why. Okay? All right. I love you, Divine Feminines. I love y'all. All y'all ladies. You know what I'm saying? And um, we putting them in the dirt. We putting them in the dirt. You hear what I'm saying? It's either them or us. You know what I'm saying? And it's better them than us. You hear me? You feel me? I love you, ladies. And as I always end it, please know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. The universe has spoken. And keep away, keep away from this person. All right? I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on my next reading. Bye-bye.